go. This is Tone for Tone, and you're getting lifted to the sound of my DJ, DJ Spaceship. Go ahead and beam them up, boy. Let's get them. Greetings and greetings and greetings and greetings and greetings and greetings and, greetings and salutations from us to all the nations. We're about to get loose, strictly for entertainment. We're rapping Tampa Bay. Ten toes down, this waves of the bay. No, we ain't playing around. Tuesday nights from 8 to 10, make sure you ride the wave. This tone's opponent, DJ Spaceship on your airways. We'll mix it interviews, RB and hip hop. We're blasting off, and the top is just a pit stop. stop, stop. Go ahead and drop it on him, man. What's going on? What are we about to do? Well, I'm gonna just hit y'all with um. Oh, let, let him introduce. Oh, 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 spaceship. Oh, 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 oh. I was like, damn, spaceship. I'm sorry, Mr. Mi- spaceship grew <laughs> hair. Spaceship, my fault. Spaceship grew hair. All right, so <laughs> Mama spaceship. Ways of the bay. My fault. Well, Mama spaceship stay up the street. That's uh, the mothership. The mothership. Oh, the mothership. Um, that's my mom. Shout out to um Angie. Um, they call me Angie's son. That's hey, what I told you. I'm like three parts handsome. Hey, tone. You keep your mouth to yourself. Hey, pause. pause. Um, double pause. So the first episode we had my brother Ray Budsky and my other brother Sean October in here, and you know just bring your tracks and we played and we vibe. But what ended up happening is a oops turned to a, ah. They uh, sent in their performance track instead of the actual song track, and they performed it live. And we just said, forget it, we'll keep it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to go live, and we, you know, created the term, the name. The test. It came up uh, to ride the wave, and then uh, we have people come through, um, whether they R&B singers. We have my man, um, M. Weezer, in, in here. Um, we Louisa. had a count. M. Weezer. See, see, I told you I <laughs> messed up. Weezer? <laughs> but you, I told y'all earlier, I mess up names. Um, shut up, Tom. Um, but then we have poets and stuff come through. They do their thing. And um, so now it's on you, Black Wildflower, uh, to ride the wave. We want to hear something live. For sure. I'll go ahead and spit three things you should know about me since I uh, yeah. mentioned that earlier. Number one. I am sick and tired of conforming to the simplistic ideals of society. Rules written by a man that continuously divides in me. See, I am a woman to make it plain and true but the perspective of a man says there's more i must do there's something else i must prove i will not and cannot be accepted to the gates of womanhood if in my closet skeleton stood like i must be well kept in order for him to keep me hell to that it's time to start stating some facts fact number one i am not just a number you can't add me to the piles of filth cluttering in your closet like i'm the shirt that pressed against your skin you did your dirty work in as my fabric slid across your brown peel we ignited friction gave birth to tension while you're moving and grooving to how well you fit into me you can't throw me into a pile with others ready to come and go as you please. You can't calculate the substance of my attraction by adding the locks that might crawl down my back, subtracting inches off my waistline, then adding the fullness of my behind. Then you want to multiply that by the softness of my two lips, two hips, and the dimples in my thighs, totaling up all of your points as if I'm some type of trophy prize. Listen, if you want to play mathematician, how about you calculate how many galaxies I've created in my mind, larger enough like stars or suns to inspire this entire universe and then you can divide that by the darkness i can't bring into your life because my spirit is so luminescent baby i live as a light i am not just a number so don't add me as one fact number two i don't believe in pretty i'm not a rag doll held under society's influence if beauty is in the eye of the beholder then i will behold her see pretty has become a religion worshipped by the insecurities in their heads i'd rather just be myself instead am i expected to tame my hair or blame my roots my complexion is perfection because i know it's imperfect but see that shouldn't be a factor to determine if I'm worth it. See, pretty shouldn't be an image, but yet a state of mind. So when I wake up in the morning, baby, you should still be mine. Even with my breath burning your brow or my hair crawling towards my face. Even then, I am still not a disgrace because your understanding of my mind will always take pretty's place. Fact number three. 
I walk beside you and you beside me. I am not your backbone nor your spine. I am a goddess created by the divine. My power is not limited by you, but it's equivalent to yours. See, these stitches that we sold, they will never come undone. Why can't we just walk together as one? There are so many rules that a woman must follow. But is it fair that a man is allowed to be so shallow? I don't have to imbibe by his instruction not to be led into the path of destruction. I don't have to conform to the simplistic ideals of society. Because only I define me. I am a woman to make it plain and true. And there should be nothing else that I should have to prove. Thank you. Hey, hey, okay. Killing it. Let me get them snaps right quick. Let me get them snaps uh, right quick. One, you can snap, it. you can clap, you can stomp. We can stop. I, I, well, if I stomp, I might. I got a coin. I got that bunion <laughs> down there. You wow. know what I'm saying? You revealing a lot today. Yeah, corn, man. the dreads. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. And that popcorn is delicious. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a movie going on over here. I see it. <laughs> Meet me at the London. That was Black Wildflower. This is Waves of the Bay, episode 20. She just ri- rode the wave. She just mm-hmm. rode the wave. She rode a ride. She just ride the wave. Don't sound right. That's out of context. Read. See, I told you. <laughs> I'm just it was, saying, it was Spreaker. He'll say it right. Oh, I'm wow. wow. <laughs> she was featured on our Ride the Wave segment tonight, episode 20, Waves of the Bay. Black Wildfire, give the people your social media information. You can find me on Instagram at B-L-A-C-Q. W I L D F L O W R underscore. You can also find me on Facebook at Tavanya T O V O N N I A Black Wildflower Lewis. Thank you. Let me ask you this, yo. How did you come up with the name and why are the letters? Ooh, why, that and, was my and what's question. up with the spelling? Ooh, I love question. this question. So, um, in route of self love, because mm-hmm. I refer to Black Wildflower as just my name of self love. Yes. Like when I found that, um, I literally took, like I told y'all, pain into poetry. The fact that I was always called Black for my dark skin, or when I am cat called, they say Black, Black. So I took Which that idea. Stuff. Yes, yeah. I took that idea and I took the the root of Black, um, which, like I said, was a painful thing for me. I turned. Um, the K into a Q to represent the queen in my reflection. Okay. Wildflower was first wildfire, right? And I was like, oh, that just don't sit right with mm-hmm. me because I don't feel like, you know, I'm burning. Like, you know, I just didn't feel like that was <laughs> one for me. So I looked into wildflowers and I started to do research on wildflowers. It lit- the name literally came to me like God laid it for me. I'm telling you the truth. And so when I looked up wildflowers, I just started researching all these wildflowers and how beautiful they were. And one thing that I loved about it was that wildflowers can go- grow anywhere without human intervention. Anywhere. So I felt like I was a wildflower and I could grow in any environment in places that people thought I never would. And that literally just alluded to. I would say my grandmother telling me that um, she was like, oh, you want to do poetry? You ain't going to do nothing with that. Oh, you want to be, you want you think a woman can lead? Oh, you ain't going to do that. But look at me now. But you know what I mean? That literally alluded you know. to all the things that people said I couldn't do in places people said I couldn't go. And it's spelled without an E while flower is spelled without an E because I'm not perfect. I am a flawed individual and I've always been very honest about that. And I want to keep that that way. So I'm very open with my flaws. So I am Black Wildflower, the Black Queen evolving freely. <laughs>